Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of the Grandfather Diaries. Uh, today I'm brewing a brew that I named Rebel Yell. Um, yeah, and it's, a, it's an American pale ale. Uh, it's 4.55 kilos of American ale malt. Uh, 250 of medium crystal, 200 of biscuit. The hop schedule is, it's a 60 minute boil, the hop schedule is um, 10 grams of Pacific Jade for 60 minutes, 20 grams each of Hercules and El Dorado for 7 minutes, uh, 50 grams of Amarillo uh, Whirlpool 15 minutes, and 80 grams of Hercules and 80 grams of El Dorado dry hop for three days. Uh, I'm using US05 yeast, it's my go-to yeast. Um, and uh, it's fermenting, the start of fermentation is 18 degrees for three or four days. And then I'll bump it up to 20 to finish it out. So let's go. Okay, we've got our grains weighed out. Don't you just love the way that the uh, Bluetooth Connect controller actually tells you each and every step of the way what to do. So we're just getting our strike water in. That's ten litres. So we've got 17 litres of strike water and 13 of sparge which will be up there um, and I run a silicon tube uh, I run a silicon tube from here onto uh, into the top of my sparge water Okay, Rebel Yell American Pale Ale. Here we go, we're going for, uh, we've already fired up the connect um, and everything like that. So we're gonna start our heating. And we're gonna drop the grain basket in. Uh, yeah well it's heating at the moment so I'll put that lid on to help it heat up a little quicker and I will get my sparge water heater plugged in and all set to go This is the hops we've got. We've got 
10 grams of Pacific Jade at 60 minutes, uh, 20 grams of Hercules and 20 grams of El Dorado for 7 minutes, uh, 50 grams of Amarillo Whirlpool 15 minutes, and 80 grams each of Hercules and El Dorado dry hop for 3 days. So yeah, should be good. Okay, we should have an alarm going off shortly. There it goes. And we start our timer for 10 minutes. And then we'll be on to sparge. Okay, so I thought I was filming the, um, the sparge process on my GoPro on my head. And it turns out I didn't have it turned on, so... Anyway, we missed out the sparge. I got it from an angle, but um, you kind of can see it. And it'll say sparge of red. Start sparge. Okay. Sounds like we're getting a good flow. Beautiful. Now, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Okay, first of our hop additions, uh, 20 grams Pacific Jade, and uh, 10 grams of Pacific Jade, I should say, and Okay, we've got the Irish Moss going in, 10 grams, uh, 15 grams, I should say, oh, it's a roundabout, it's kind of a guesstimate. And we chuck that in there. And now we've got 10 minutes remaining. Okay, so currently I'm calling the uh, wart down to 80 degrees, and then I'm going to add my 50 grams of Amarillo for 15 minutes. I accidentally started the timer. Still learning the system. Uh, I accidentally started the timer already, but what I'll do is I'll just manually start a timer on my um, on my computer, and uh, we'll be right as rain.
when you're brewing, you must always sample the merchandise. This is uh, my fuel injected, 5.91%, and it is. Oh, mate, I'm going to be bummed when it's when it's run out because it it's wow, it's so fruity and tropical and you know like uh, mango peaches um yeah it's it's a real cracking beer beautiful and before I forget I'm gonna pitch my yeast Well, that's uh, another brew out of the way. It's currently sitting at 18.7 degrees Celsius. Um, I'd like to give a big shout out to Jared from Your Shout Shop who helped me uh, get the grain mill uh, gap, roller gap uh, sorted. Um, good on you, mate. Uh, we got 71% efficiency, which is not as high as it could be, but that's acceptable. Um, so, I'm currently in the uh, cleaning cycle. I've cleaned everything up and dumped my grains, and brew day is done. Hope you enjoyed the footage. I'm going to have a cold home brew. Cheers, and uh, I'll be doing a tasting uh, of the uh, the grandfather's brews uh, in time to cut, you know, in due course. Um, but anyway, brew on, brew hard. Cheers. That's good. That's good.